All right, let me show you the build I'm using currently. Uh, I used to be Octavia main when I first played this game and for a long time while playing this game. And I still love Octavia and will play her every now and then. But I took a large break from the game and now I'm back. And after a while I decided I'm going to go with Hydroid Prime as my guy, you know what I mean? And the mods that I'm pushing out right now on my Hydroid. There you go. These are my stats. I have Empower on my second. I also have Dispensary on my config get B. But I usually just, you know, use the same mods, these exact same mods. I usually use these exact same mods on most of my Warframes. Um, Octavia. All of these were my main Octavia's mods, but then I just transferred them over to Hydroid and it seemed to work very well. This is what you get from this build, right? Let's stand up here, pop your empower, pop your tentacles, put that ocean down, pop your empower again, get your net ready for the next charge up, and then boom, hit this over here. Now we're dominating this entire area. There's not a place in this room where there's no tentacles messing with people. Welcome to my day, beep. Big, big, big blue lotion. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm stuttering like crazy. Now, when you want to add a little bit more spice to it, what you do is you go ahead and pop you out your thingies. It's a very technical term, thingies. And then you drop it like it's hot with your art gun cordage. Now watch the fucking... This cordage will carry me through anything, really. If you need a cordage like this, yes you do. Pop the tentacles back out. Give yourself a little bit of a hug for that. Go, 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 juice. There you go. What kind of stats are you going to see when you're using mods like this on this lineup build? There you go. Hydroid is almost untouchable with this build because everything's too far away and too wrapped up with tentacles to touch it. Killing people just comes too damn easy. Even if you're not doing a, the max damage, you're doing the max kills. One more time? You guys want to see another five rounds? Let's fight. Let's see another five rounds, all right? Yeah. 
not even aim. Well, I am aiming, but you know, I'm just spamming. Because the muzz I have in my court is you need to aim. But, you know, look at the stats. The stats speak for themselves. The fact that most people do not want to play with me speaks for themselves. I mean, it's hard for other lower frames to get their powers going and stuff if I'm over here smacking the world with my tentacles. Plus, you know, it's always good to have an Octavia as your Spectre. Gives you all those great buffs and everything that you really enjoy in life. Another round clear. Almost 200 kills. Everybody likes the Inferno flamethrower, but you know what? This is like the Inferno flamethrower on steroids, you know? Get this instead. It's all I'm saying. You have to be able to carry an Arcwing gun into your missions, so you need to do all that crap in order to unlock that. But it's so, so worth it. I mean, wasting the world in front of you is what we do for a living here at Tron Studios. So. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everybody wants to watch the world drown in high droids. Frickin' tentacles! Sorry, I'm having a little bit too much fun. Anyway, this is supposed to be a quick video <laughs> about the mods. Alright, so yeah, if you see me running around, I am Blue112. One, one, I'm also Tron Studios. Um, in Warframe, I am Sociopath Tehran. But don't you worry about all that. I use these mods, not in every Warframe I have, but in the Warframes that you know it'll work great. The ones you want that AoE reach. Anyway, let's see what the stats are when I'm done here. And I'm being really lazy play, you know, I could be running around going to these corners like I'm forcing all of them to do, pretty much. People are not happy staying inside my title zone. You know. Nobody wants. I don't know, I shot my own dog. Mm. Snipered with the sh <laughs> I can't pronounce the kuva <laughs> All right, that's good enough for my Unless video. These guys are probably gonna leave too because I'm no longer here. Very impressive but this is great. This is fun. You know what I mean? Hydrate is great for defense. He does well in survival as well. He is a wall that you cannot pass. He Keep up with the gaming, and if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you would like me to review any of the other Warframes I have, I do not have all of them, but here's the ones I have. Take a nice look. Take a nice look. And then it stops here at my original Octavia. And then one day, if you want me to, I'll grab some other ones and show you the best mods for those as well but 
Till then, have fun and Warframe it out.